next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. like this as a striker. You have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get right. back to his feet. And quickly. Whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you've got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to your space. If not, you're going to find yourself snapping and really wondering why. Why did I not engage him in this game? Look at you dropping a submissionist on us, huh? Ah, that's crazy. When he dropped his hand, throw his hand. Just unable to quite find that range. Ooh, blocks the shot. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Collar tackles. How do you scramble, folks? Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Ooh! Hey. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. <laughs> Huge block there. A little single collar tie there. Caught that kick there. And they set. Just out of range with that right hook. Under two minutes to go. Big head kick lands. Circling to his right. And both guys really throwing with authority. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Under a minute now to go. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, that right hand is on point. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Head kick lands. Ooh. What an end to round one. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. Nice work out there. You're really pushing hard. I can see you're working, but you're not being effective. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. And he caught the kick. Nice leg kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Oh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Big kick.
Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Wow! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, beautiful meeting the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Big punch land. with the right hand. All right, single all the time now. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round. He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you gotta really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Leg kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Whiffs on the right hand. Side leg kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Body kick is blocked. See, he talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. That punch, no good. All 
right, he engages right. in a single collar tie here. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was too high. But now he's got him hurt bad. <laughs> nice straight punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, misses with the jab. 20 seconds to go in the fight. So the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges scored this contest 9-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Assassin! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly a pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was standing or on the ground. This is his fight. He won this fight. And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Take him down. Head kick partially blocked. Oh, big punch land. They are throwing both sides with conviction. Midway through round one. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Cable of inches right there. It was a good night if that landed. Alright, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Two minutes now to go. And he landed the right hand there. hip into that kick. Oh, 
huge block. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 25 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Assassin. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And gotta be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. that we could put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Misses again with a right punch. And he lands the knee to the body now. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he was landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Big kick lands. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Take him down. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Ooh, what a punch. Right All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Pretty good right hand. He's going after the head. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. And that's oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Great punch. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. Oh. Oh. He's hurt bad. This is a great fight. Oh, he might be out. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Seconds winding down in the opening round. Second round straight ahead. 
All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights. That flying knee, so perfect. Kind of makes me want to try one in the dressing room after the fight. No, John. Uh -huh. John, John, listen. No, John. Uh -huh. No, don't throw a flying knee. Okay. that right hand. How about that shin? Nice punch there. Slips the punch nicely there. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also nice. going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. What a punch. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Checks the leg kick. Three minutes now to go in round two. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Got the single collar tie. Big roundhouse now, just misses. by that one big leg kick. Oh, collar tie. Nice head kick. Just, oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Big leg kick lands. And that's the end of round number two. A lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Good punch land. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. 
Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Oh, nice counter right hand. Both fighters exchanging the pocket here. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. There's the kick. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hit to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Single collar tie there. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game. And if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Beautiful strike. Single collar tie now. Oh, Superman punch. Just missed with the leg kick. Need to get a takedown now. Connects with the right. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Flush right hand is true. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Oh, he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-27. Played the winner by unanimous decision, Russia. All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight. Was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. It's a UFC welterweight division matchup. fighters in this division and hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side of these right now. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Nice. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. 
Under three minutes to go in round one. All right, single collar tie now. Nice punch lands over the top. Beautiful leg kick throw. Ooh. Big kick lands. There's no give on that leg kick. Just misses there with the left. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Ooh, big shot land. Big leg kick land. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice counter right hook there. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual face. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook for all the things that happen in this. His head still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overy versus Iskandi, and you know they still haven't found Alistair Overy's head. Round two winding down. All right, a lot of high level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K1 level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Round two underway. Well, he misses the oh, left shot. Lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Attack. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And that left hook landed on the button. That one's up again. Nice strike. And an uppercut. Real quick leg kick. Just over three minutes now to go. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Nice defense there. Huge block. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Nice strike. And missed with that jab attempt there. of that nice body kick. Another shot lands upstairs. That's a big strike right there. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. All 
All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Misses with the left hook. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Big kick lands. Tries to work it into a takedown. And there comes the separation now. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect it with right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Good stick. Oh, that's a beautiful left-hand counter. Such a fast leg kick. Single collar tie here. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Hard shots landing on both sides here. And they separate. Just out of range with that right hand. Big punch lands through the middle. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Lands the right hand. Got Cliff with the right hand. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight. Oh, that was one takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together, there's one guy struck. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state a flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges scored this contest 9-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. Oh. Well, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here too. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of 
been on 2233. How you ain't heard of me either? You sleepy, you gay. Only your karma is no survivor without aim for the head. He got a bag and he bragged now. I got a check and say less. Don't you know everything live now? If it ain't put it to rest. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's gonna be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Let's go. Keep nice kick. Oh, it looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Oh, and that kick is blocked. He lands flush with that right hand. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. And that one was heavy. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. Beautiful punch. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Try to establish that jab. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Throws the right hand there. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Oh, that's a nice strike. Left hook counter there yet again. Four kicks, four kicks. Punch him in the back. Fifteen seconds to go. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. Five minutes in the books. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Strong defense there to block the shot. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Real nice body kick land. Just misses with the jab there. Nice 
Nice punch lands. They continue to exchange. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Now connects with the right. Just missed with the left there. Nice one, two there. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Very badly. Great punch landed with so much power. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big kick land. is pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. How good is that? His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. And they separate. Whiffs on that offering. What a fight so far! All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 42 seconds of round number three. Going the winner by knockout assassin. No shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah. And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup.
right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Look at the turnover in that game. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, my goodness. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. He loaded up there on that high kick. Hands on your face. Just over three minutes to go, round one. a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to the opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attack, young man. Nice leg kick lands. Straight punch lands. Nice one-two there. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. All right, we need that takedown now. Straight right, he misses. suggested making good use of his reach advantage. Big clinch position. Watch him start to hang. Try to gas his opponent out by hanging on his head. Great timing on that double leg. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Back to the feet now. Nice punch lands over the top. Round two is next. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. That was beautiful, man. Hurt. Should have put him away. He was hurting. Are you ready? You ready? Second round here. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down the opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Big kick. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you can one knee to the body and stuff. Every time the opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Ooh! Wow, what a head kick! length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Oh, good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. Big punch land over the south. How's he going to follow this one up? 
Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Right hand on point. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Back and forth we go. And they separate. Way to hide that leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Elbow from the clinch lands. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about a jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. Seconds winding down in round two. Two rounds in the books. Well, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Powerful leg kick lands. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Right on the button. Back and forth we go here. to check these low leg kicks. Man, it doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. Got the single collar tie. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, Superman punch is good. Well, missed on that one. Oh, an obvious flip there. His leg hurting for certain. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. You've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Looping left hand misses the target. There's no tell on that leg kick. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more stops. 
strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, that's a good right hand. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. The official decision is now in and resides with Bruce Buffer. 30-27, 9-28, and 30-27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Russia! All right, nice job by him there as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you got to go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. He did. What is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. on either side when you break down the floor. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Nice straight punch. Just misses with the right. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going to He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Left hand punch from the clinch. Oh, big punch land. for this division and put it to good use there. Under three minutes now to go on the round. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes that makes Job to get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a roll of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Beautiful kick. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Punch over the top. Under 90 seconds now to go in round one. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Less than a minute to go in the round. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Trying to connect now with the overhand left. No good. Oh, nice overhand left. 15 seconds. Oh, collar tie. That horn sounds means we 
have reached the end of round one. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. and it's blocked. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Right punches there. Good punch. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal. Right, no three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than that. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Big body kick lands. Just over three minutes to go. Ooh, what a punch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Wow, actually got the take down. Right side control now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Right hand is off point. Back to the stand up now. Both fighters upright. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and he's right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Started to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Dig and kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Superman punch lands. There it is. Take Take that. Just missed on the front kick there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, nice right hand. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. He blocks the shot. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Great punch. Right hand. He's looking for that left hand. 
Not there. Finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Trying to kick the leg out. Three minutes to go in round three. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Oh, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big head kick. Just out of range with the straight left hand. He connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, nice jab. Let's go. High cross, baby. High cross. Give the high cross. Nice. Liver kick. Nice. That's it. Nice shot. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Nice. Ooh, wee. Nice. Ooh, wee. What a right hand by this young man. Final seconds here. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about this championship round. The fourth round is easily the hardest round to fight. You're so used to fighting up to three. You gotta get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. What a the straight left hand. He blocks the punch. And under three minutes now to go in the round. Big knee lands right to his opponent's midsection. And he connects with the punch there. And they separate. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, and he counters effectively with a jab upstairs there, DC. I know you don't often have the reach advantage, but nice to see him making good use of it in this match. Oh, see on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Single collar tie now. Yeah. 
Ooh, and he caught the kick. And now he's got the tie clinch. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent and trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Caught the kick. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. All right, single collar tie now. 15 seconds remain in the round. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch, and every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds. He's in a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Back and forth we go! Just a slip there. Nice move oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent and tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Nice sneaky head kick. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Well, no problem getting inside. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! <laughs> yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched up. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found a shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 56 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Russia. All right, so he dedicated decades of his life to this very goal, and he is now the UFC champion. No one can ever take that away from him. Yeah, man, you gotta take a lot of confidence from staying so committed to a goal for so long. The moment he walked into the UFC, he said, I will be the champion. He got it done tonight. And you gotta take your hat off to him for staying focused for so long and getting it done.